Hey, what's up guys? It's Desen, and welcome back to Monster Hunter. It's been a while since my last video, I think. It's been... has it been? It's been like a few weeks since my last Monster Hunter video. But it's good to be back. It's very good to be back. Today we're going to be talking about this fancy armor set that I have on. Because it's awesome, and it's really cool looking. Just kidding. Nah, it's the uh, it's the full Luna set which I grinded out for the past couple days. Cause as everyone knows, there's like this kind of like uh, this is kind of dry period going on right now with Monster Hunter. I mean, we don't get the two variants until next month, and the seasonal stuff kind of just stops. So right now, if you're playing, it's typically you know maybe just you're just a avid player like myself. I mean, I play at least every day just to like have fun and stuff like that. Or, you know, you have a goal in mind. Um, as for me, I decided to make a goal. And I decided to take some time out to make the Luna armor. I really like it. It was really cool. It was very hard. I can see why not many people have this set. My one friend called me crazy because he found it funny that I went ahead and made Luna set first and not Teos. Um, and I don't know why I did that either. But I'll go over the skills that I currently have on mines. Well, basically, this is kind of what it comes with. I think the only extra boost I kind of gave mines personally was I gave mines earplugs and blast resistance. What I really like about this set, and as you can see, I'm more of a full set kind of person. I don't really mix sets. That's just a personal preference. But what I like about it was going into it was I was telling myself, you know what? Rage and Bracky's coming out. What can I make to get prepared for him? And there were a couple options. It was either, you know, you can make Seething Basil or pretty much any good set and just give it Blast Res. But I wanted to make this set because it killed time. It's really cool looking. And I like the skills on it. The weapon that I paired it with is the SNS. The, I went about the Nerd Tree. Um, I'm debating on going back and making all three versions, so like the base Luna and the Xeno version. Um, I think the big difference amongst the two, or amongst the three, is if I'm right, is I believe Nerds has more raw in sacrificing, I believe, Blast and Affinity, and I think Luna's is more balanced of the three. And then I believe the Xeno just has, it's like pretty good, but I think it may just have a little bit more raw. But this set is really, really cool. Um, one thing I was really going for too as well is I like when my sets just look really cool. As I know I'm going to be saying that a lot, but I'm a pretty simple person. Like one, I've been playing Monster Hunter for years and I am just a straightforward, like if it doesn't look good, I'm not going to make it. And I knew going into the Luna fight that it was going to be very, very frustrating because she herself is very hard. This is the hardest monster I think is in the game in terms of end game wise. Even in high rank, she was pretty formidable. Um, I like how difficult they made her though. Like that skill gap alone between her and Teo is so there. That that alone makes them two separate encounters, which is really, really cool. Because in previous games, like, for example, I hopped into Monster Hunter in Freedom 2. And when I would face, for example, her or Teo, I really did notice a difference. They seemed like the same monsters. But in this game, they're like two different encounters, which I really, really like. And this is actually, fun fact, the first time I ever made her full set. It wasn't that I never wanted to make it another game, but it was just like, mm, I was never really on board with Elder sets as much. They were always really, really good, but I believe the only, I didn't start making Elder Armors until 4 Ultimate, and I believe I made Kush's set, because his set in 4 Ultimate was really, really cool looking, and... Yeah, and one thing they were themed around in the previous games, they kind of like, uh, it was like a rock, paper, scissor kind of thing. Where, for example, like, if you made one armor set, they would kind of like counter the other. 
So, for example, if you were... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way, sir? I'll move. There you go. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> Just kidding. But, um, yeah. So, for example, if you were going after, like, Teo, I believe his counter was... Uh, I believe it was Kush. And then if you wanted to fight Kush, you wanted Camellios. And it was, it was like, a really cool idea that the elders kind of like counteract each other so that was amazing i think that still applies in this game um for example being i have blast resistance i can like luna can basically beat tail like that's what i like about it like this set can kill tail and then i'm pretty sure if it's the same like tail can beat Kush. but it just sucks because camellios isn't in the game and he's was such a big part of it that to see him missing is kind of weird um i really hope he gets added because he would definitely be uh kush's like kind of crutch because uh camilo's armor gave you like wind resistance and i believe they even had specific perk names named after the monster like it would say something like anti kush or anti tail like it was i'm just like that's actually really cool not only is it an incentive to make the armor if you're going to go after these monsters but they're big safety nets like hey if you make this like you'll be good against xyz now what a um wow i just don't know what else to go into because i just really like the set aesthetically it's just really really cool looking i really like the hood and the night face <laughs> the night face the that armor it looks like a knight and i love that like you're just cl like clad in and like fur but like underneath is like this this chiseled badass armor i feel like i'm like some warrior from the north and i'm just like i've heard you had an elder problem I, Sir Daniel, am here to slay them. Nah, I wouldn't sound like that if I was some knight from the north. It would probably be like a deeper voice, like, I hear you have an elder problem. It would be something like that. <laughs> Future voice actor in the making. But the only thing I really want to kind of like focus on between now and, you know, when Raging and Furious comes out are just making sure my weapons up the par um oh excuse me it's still pretty early as i'm making this i was like laying in bed and i was like i'm gonna make a youtube video today i'm gonna be productive i'm trying to get back consistently having a twitch schedule and a youtube schedule the future videos i have in mind are i want to do videos like this going over individual armor sets because personally, I just like full armor sets. I don't like making milk, like almost said milk sets. <laughs> I don't like making mixed sets and things like that. I just like the, the look of a full armor set. It says something about the player, I feel like. It says like you dedicated a lot of time to one monster. And that's good. Monster Hunter was always about reflecting and basically showing off your skills and the armor and gear that you have. So, I'm gonna, you know, I love full armor sets. I was never into mixed sets. I think the only time I made a mixed set was when, you know, when I first got into Monster Hunter and I just didn't have the patience to make like make a full set. So, I was just slapping on random pieces. But once I learned the game, I got the fundamentals down, I became invested as a player. I said, you know, full armor sets need to be a thing. I'm not knocking people that, you know, make mixed sets because people go for specific builds and want to have certain skills activated. They go into the fight with a certain idea in mind of how fast I want to get this done, how much DPS I want to do, so on and so forth. So that's cool. But for me, I like my full armor set. So one idea, a few ideas in the future I have is I'm going to go back and do a video on each individual armor set that I have, why I like it, you know, who's this set for things like that so i'll actually attach that to this video whose set is this for this set is for people that i believe just want a challenge and just want to like flaunt 
because truth be told, everything this set does, I believe my seething basil has actually. So I believe though I'm kind of resilient to a little bit more than my pride set. Yeah, um, which is kind of funny. Yeah, this set does everything my current set does. So I might go into the fight with this. I might go into the raging fight with this set too because I believe my friend made it and we might have an idea of us matching. But, you know, being that they're similar, this set is just like a trophy set, I want to say. This set does not make or break the game, uh, though it does look cool. Like, is this more visually pleasing? I think the reason I don't even like the bagel set as much um, is because it looks so similar to his high rank set. Now, in high rank, that set was cool to have, like, because it was a new monster. I wanted to flex with it, and I got, I even got a couple compliments when I did have it in high rank. But in master rank, it's like, nah, they look pretty similar. I mean, I do like the whole, um, the fire kind of is, like, illuminating on the armor. Um, that part is really cool. And the skills are pretty cool. I mean, I kind of gave it handicraft with the charm, which I have to max out. That's probably going to be my focus for the next month is um, maxing out like talismans and stuff like that. But aside from that, um, the set just looks cool. Skills are not bad. Yeah, you can take this into the raging fight. I'm pretty sure, and this is what my gut is telling me, that once raging comes into the game, he will be the true end game blast monster. Um, so in order, in my opinion, it's going to be... Raging, Luna, Seething, and Normal Bracky. So I feel as though once Raging comes into the game, it's gonna be like it's gonna it's gonna shake up the meta. I think it's gonna be really cool to see Blast come back. I think that's gonna be cool. And my theory is that being that Rage is, Raging is gonna be in the game, it's gonna add rare twelve to a lot of his weapons and armor. My theory is that being that he is in the game. Either all his weapons are going to transform into the whole, kind of like how they were in 3 Ultimate, where it got like that little, that spark of like the orange on the weapon to show them that they were like, like about to explode. That, that effect I thought was really cool. And maybe, you know, I feel as though the, the chicken drumsticks might turn into the dual blades, man. I feel like they did that on purpose. So when Raging comes to the game, you know, it's going to fix a lot of weapons. That's been my theory for a long time because any... Here's my theory, really quick, not to get off topic. I feel as though monsters that are in master rank that have that whose armor are their high rank versions, they're gonna get subspecies and variants later in the game. And the reason I say that is because, for example, um, I mean, if you look at Tiggy when he got brought back. His armor is his armor was the high rank version, but Brute was in the game secretly, and it was his. It turned into his G rank version for four ultimate. Same thing with um, who else did that? I'm having like a brain moment, but there were, who else was it? Uh, Stygian, for example, Zenogre. So when Zenogre got added into the game, his armor was his high rank version. They added Stygian, it became the G rank version. Well, they chose the they chose the three ultimate G rank version, not the four ultimate version. They were like they were, they updated it because in four ultimate his high rank version became what the master rank set is for Sigin in this game, and they gave it a whole new design, which is really cool. So, with that being said, I really think like for example, this is just me. I'm probably like asking for too much, but I can see Lucent being in the game because Narga has his. High rank armor, that's just me. Lucent would be a really cool fight. I think a lot of people would really like Lucent. And if he's kind of like Silver and like he fights and he'll stay in like a secluded area. Or if they can bring back like the tower, um, that would be awesome. I would like to see Molten at some point maybe. Molten can kind of get a pass. Um, but if Molten gets added, that's another end game bl uh, blast monster they can do. But... Yeah, man, uh, and they already announced in the timeline, Fan Favorite is coming back in May. They're going to announce the future of Iceborne later. Um, and if they just keep adding more Master Rank content so none of this stuff becomes obsolete in the future, like they just keep making it a Master G Rank experience, kind of like how uh, Frontier and stuff was, 
um that would be dope like make it so like hey this master rank stuff i made a year ago is still relevant i think a lot of people would like that i would i wouldn't mind buying another expansion if it's gonna add more jiren content that would be really really cool uh what i would like to see the next iceborne expansion themed around i would like to see a black dragon um themed expansion I would like it a lot. I would be really, I would be so down with um, the bosses being black dragons like Dire Morales, Fatalis, uh, the the crew coming back. I think that would be a really cool concept. That would be really, really cool. But yeah, that is my thoughts on a little bit of everything in the Empress. So more of the story. This this set, it's cool. It's a, more of a trophy set. If you want something quick that has blast res. Just make Seething Basil, put Blast Res on one of your favorite sets or something like that. But other than that, I like this set a lot. It was really challenging to make. I had to fight a couple uh, tempered Lunas because those was the only quest I could find people were in. I unfortunately didn't have the quest myself. I had to like get lucky and get some SOSs in. But you know, it went perfectly fine. Like you know, even if it was like a a tempered i kind of didn't complain i was like hey this isn't my quest so i'm just grateful the person kind of let me join in but yeah this set is awesome i definitely recommend it for people who just want to flaunt and want something cool to look at and if you enjoyed the video a like is always appreciated and always and definitely be on the lookout for future videos definitely want to go over and do more armor set videos and things like that i definitely have an idea of a video on sns's on why i use them um, cause from previous videos, this, that's the only weapons I use. I have one long sword that I like and a couple charge blades and some lances, but that's about it. I've been an SNS main for years. Um, and I don't see that changing. I love the weapon, but once again, thank you for watching the video. Like is always appreciated. And I really hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Peace.